How's it going guys, Mike here and I am just another UK gamer and today we're talking more about the World War 2 Zombies perks and now class abilities. A few days ago I made a video which only contained the code name but I now have the official names for every single one of these perks and even the new class abilities which are basically Fate and Fortune cards or Gobblegums whichever you prefer to say. This video will contain a lot of me just reading out names and what they actually do so gameplay in the background could literally be two giraffes having sex and it wouldn't really matter. Just sit back and listen to the audio because that's all that really matters in this video and if you could leave a like on it that would be greatly appreciated. The goal for today is 100 likes so let's see if we can smash that and without further ado let's jump into some tasty information. So before I shall do continue ahead, if you haven't already guessed by the intro or even the title of this video, this will contain major spoilers. So if you want to stay a World War II virgin, then I suggest clicking away right now. Just leave a cheeky like before you do go though. That's all I ask. Uh, but of all you hungry and horny kids, let's go and get into some perk names. So the first one is Panzer Blitz, which the machine injects the user with energy protecting their health in dire situations. The next one is Kugel Blitz. Uh, the weapons have a new life, increasing their damage output. The next one is Shield Blitz, and Shield Bricks will protect you when your gun cannot. A burst of damaging electricity comes forth when you reload. Schnell Blitz. With Schnell Blitz, your weapons feel like an extension of you, as if you've used it your whole life. Gain increasing load speed. What is it with these cheesy descriptions? For God's sake. Anyway, the next one is Heal Blitz. It doubles maximum health. Uh, Forced Blitz makes every strike your best. Your melee damage is increased. Lieben Blitz, which is just basically Cut Revive. I'm not going to read that massive description. Uh, Lofen Blitz, which it carries your legs to keep moving and never tire. Gain increased speed. So it's basically like the speed perk, but it's just on crack because you don't ever stop running, which is amazing in my opinion. And then we have the Random Blitz Machine, which is just basically the Wonder Fizz from Black Ops or Treyarch Zombies, should I say. So that was... Uh, uh, that was the perks and now this next part is all about choosing your zombies class to be the most effective and each class will come with their main special ability and along with this you can also choose to add some class perks to it which is just like Gobblegums or Fate and Fortune cast. So first of all let's actually name through the classes that you can choose before starting a zombies game. The first class is called Offense and the ability is called Free Fire and the ability description is this player can fire their weapon without expending any ammo even if the clip is empty. The next class is called Control and the ability is called Shell Shock and the description for this is creates a burst originating from the player, knocks back nearby zombies, applies light damage and holds them stunned. The third class is called Support and the ability is called Frontline and the description for this is all zombies chase the user, the trucking player deals double damage to the zombies for the duration of the special. The fourth class is Medic and the ability is Camouflage and the description for this is the player is ignored by zombies. There is then another class called Classic but it actually doesn't have an ability name or an ability description and it also says underneath there's also a class ability named Fury and the description is the player melee attack instantly kills weaker zombies applies a bonus damage against stronger zombies. So these classes are essentially what you'll pick before you start, which in my opinion is a great addition to the game because when you have four players, you can really work together to choose different classes to use all their special abilities in the most efficient way possible. And along with the class choosing, there's also a huge list of class perks which work the exact same way as the Gobble Gums and the Fate and Fortune cards. So all I'm going to do now is read through the massive list of perks and what their actual description is. Okay, so we've got Dutiful Medic take no damage from one hit while reviving a teammate exploit weakness enemy stunned by shell shock take triple damage explosive handler give yourself a nearby allies two lethals when activating a free fire fast hands use items and lethal equipment faster and switch weapons faster fiery burst enemies hit by shell shock are set on fire flak jacket take no damage from your own explosives Finishing blow, deal extra melee damage against enemies with less than half health. Fragmentation skull, headshots kills cause explosive damage to nearby zombies during free fire. Fully reloaded, increased max reserve ammo capacity. Grenada, carry twice the maximum amount of lethal equipment. Gunho, fire weapons while sprinting. Punishment, whilst frontline is active, weak enemies die automatically after hitting the user. Harder carry an additional blitz, which is just basically carry an additional perk. Determination, gain two points of Geet Child when activating frontline. 
Long lasting, power ups last longer. Lucky crit, I actually thought that I said lucky clit then, for God's sake. Um, lucky crit, chance to do double damage when hitting an enemy's weak point. Marksmanship, headshot steal significantly increased damage whilst using free fire. MK2, the player's weapon is upgraded whilst using free fire. Mobilization, increased movement speed whilst using camouflage. Mugger, increased jolts for killing weaker enemies with melee only. Pack Mule, carry a third primary weapon. So unfortunately, Mule Kick is not a perk in the Zombies games. It's actually now classed as a Fate or Fortune card or whatever they're going to be called in this. Actually, they're called class perks in this. So it's going to be a class perk this time and actually a perk that we can go and pick up. Uh, Defibrillate, a revive fallen teammates in range when activating Shell Shock. Discipline, increase weapon accuracy and damage whilst crouching or prone. Uh, preventive medicine your whole team has longer bleed out time this does not stack with other teammates using prevention medicine uh, field medic revive fallen teammates quicker while using camouflage resilient significantly reduces the delay before regaining health while using frontline resourceful increased chance to spawn power-ups when killing enemies uh, saboteur lethal equipment does significantly more damage whilst using camouflage Serrated Edge, melee attacks deal extra damage over time whilst using camouflage. Specialist Training, the special meter requires less energy to charge than it normally would. Squad Tactics, nearby allies get a headshot damage bonus whilst using free fire. Suppressive Fire, enemies still die momentarily as they take bullet damage. Survivalist, gain one point of a geese child. I don't even know what that word says, I'm sorry guys. It says gain one point of a geese child when activating camouflage. I'll put that... um. I'll put that word on the screen, like what it says. I'm thinking it's saying it. Geese child. Just just let me know what that says, please. Uh, sustain zone. Sustain the shell shock zone for a few seconds. Enemies that enter the zone are stunned. Team effort. Nearby teammates also receive the damage bonus whilst using frontline. Stubborn. Keep all blitz after being revived for the first time. Ammo carrier. Nearby teammates receive a full clip of ammo when activating free fire. Armored up, spawn and respawn with three points of geese child. That's what I'm calling it for now. Okay, it's called geese child to me. Uh, protector, allies hit with a shell shot gain one point of a geese child. Breathing room, shell shock has increased range and knocks enemies back further. Charge the line, increase movement speed whilst using fury. Hand to hand, increase melee damage whilst using front line. Vicious, enemies take triple damage instead of double damage when using frontline. And finally, Exfiltration, allies revive when using camouflage, are also hidden temporarily. So yeah, that was a lot of perks, and I know that sounded like I was waffling a little bit. But it definitely is exciting knowing that a lot of perks are going to be at the game launch. And I'm guessing some of these will be found in supply drops, just like the previous cards. And then we'll have some free ones, so like basically Fate and Fortune cards, the Fortune ones we had to find in the supply drops. So I'm guessing that these are going to be like that. Now, as of now, there's no confirmation on which perks belong where. But that was the full official list, which there's definitely some interesting ones on there. And now before I do end this video, I just want to give a quick little update on something I said in my last video about the perks. I mentioned something called Photo Booth, and because the code was placed right next to the perks, I presumed that this was going to be a new kind of perk, but in fact, it's the same as the Lost and Found from Infinite Warfare Zombies. So, yes, we'll actually have a way to get our weapons back after we die, and we do this through something called a Photo Booth, and other than the name and what it does, there's really nothing else that I know about it. I just thought I'd uh, give you guys that little quick update, because it's definitely exciting to see this implemented into World War II Zombies. And that, ladies and gents, will wrap up the video. Sorry this one dragged on for so long and sorry it seemed like I was just waffling. I just wanted to get all this news out to you guys and everything I've talked about here is official. The perks and all the possibilities are the official names and all in game right now. Well, when we technically get the game. So yeah, definitely getting more and more excited now the closer we get to release of World War 2 Zombies. Only a few weeks left so hang in there you horny kids. I believe in you. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in my next video.